So my name is Pooja Vishwanathan and I'm a postdoctoral fellow and a CEO and co-founder of Braze Mobility. So the project that I'm currently working on is an aftermarket product for powered wheelchairs. Um, it's a product that will hopefully improve the safety and uh, independence of powered wheelchair drivers. So we're building a system that can add on to any commercial powered wheelchair and essentially transform it into a smart wheelchair that can prevent collisions and offer feedback to the driver so that they're more aware of their environment um, and don't bump into obstacles. Especially when we were conducting research studies, we always, you know, ha um, wanted to make sure that we had a good representation from both female and male study participants. A lot of our female participants, in fact, didn't have any experience with driving um, a, you know, a powered uh, a mobility device or even a car before. And so what was interesting is when they started off, they were perhaps less confident than the men simply because they just didn't have the experience that some of the men did. But what was really interesting was the fact that that didn't actually ultimately um, impact their performance. But understanding where the participants are coming from and their backgrounds um, and kind of what their prior experiences might have been could in fact inform you know either the way that we design these systems or perhaps even the way that we market them or you know in the way that we communicate what these devices are meant to do. So I'm in a very interesting field really because assistive technology is sort of the intersection of occupational therapy and, and technology and robotics and Occupational therapy is actually a female-dominated field, and you know, and, and you know, the technology in robotics is a very male-dominated field. So, in some sense, I'm right at the intersection of minorities. So, I think definitely in terms of a positive uh, of our field, I think assistive technology as a field is very diverse. But I think we have a long way to go in terms of bringing that diversity into other fields. I think one way we can do that is by really communicating effectively the relevance of the field and the impact that people can have and the impact that people can make by bringing their diverse perspectives and experiences in. So I think one thing that I would definitely recommend is that we all become a lot more cognizant of you know, the discrimination that, that we might be, you know, un unknowingly participating in, uh, positive or negative, you know, I think we need to uh, make sure that we're all open to different experiences, that we're not discriminating by age or by gender or by abilities. Um, I think the first step is really for us to become open and to come from a place of empathy. Um, I think, you know, feeling like a victim is never really a constructive place to be. So I think the first step is really trying to reflect on our own practices and behaviors on a day-to-day -day basis and making sure that we're not doing anything to drive people away who could be in fact bringing really, really unique perspectives uh, to our team. So that's one con concrete step that I would suggest.